Uh, they've got the first recycled wastewater treatment plant in Northern California. Science! Uh, Cody <laughs> is there this morning with the caravan taking a little tour around and you were saying this is like, this is incredible how they do this, Cody. This is incredible. It is incredible what they do every day. 15 million gallons of water a day are recycled at this plant. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. Uh, the entire plant treats 20 million gallons a day, but we're able to recycle for beneficial purposes about 15 million gallons a day out to the Delta, Delta Mendota Canal. Okay. So once again, I'm doing this today mm -hmm. because we had some stories and reporters were standing out and they were talking about the recycled water programs and stuff, and we had some viewers go, ew, ew, and I said, this will not stand. This is a modern marvel, people. This is incredible. Okay, so this is the beginning stage. Yes, this is the beginning stage. So the water uh, where we're at has already gone through our primary treatment facility. It's gone through the very conventional treatment mm -hmm. systems. Um, and it would come out to this facility for biological treatment. In order to go through the recycled water process, we add in a couple of additional steps to make sure it's meeting the water quality standards of going out into the Delta Mendota Canal. So at this particular stage in the process, we're doing an additional screening to pull out very, very fine material. These screens um, have a one millimeter mesh, so anything uh, larger than a millimeter in size is being pulled out, screened out, um, because our filters downstream can be very sensitive to very small particles rubbing, it can cause them to break, so we put this additional step in and we can pull that out. Now the water is being prepped and ready for the biological process and then the filtration process. And we're going to take you through all those processes of the show today. Because I'm telling you, I am into this, Ben. I am into this. Okay, so the water that's coming in here, uh -huh. what is that water? That water is a combination of industrial wastewater and primarily domestic wastewater. So okay. this would be household uh, wastewater. This would be you know, from your businesses and, and other things like that. A little bit of a storm runoff on occasion. Okay. But for the most part, this is a domestic supply. So this is sewer water. Um, that's been used already once by humans. It's what's come out of your tap. It's what was in your toilet. It's what was in your uh, sink when you did the dishes and all that kind of stuff. And if we didn't recycle it, what would happen to it? So we would treat it conventionally, and it typically would get discharged into a river, um, and then the river is going to flow out to the ocean. And, and the we water would just lose it. it. Yeah, absolutely. So you're saving all that water. So we're trying to save it, keep it in the region so that we can reuse it. There's, there's more things you can do with the water before you let it you know, disappear into the environment. So we can, in this case, we're going to treat it to additional standards, use it for irrigation, and then it'll soak into the groundwater table and it'll be, eventually go through the environmental treatment process and become groundwater again, which is the primary source of drinking water in the Central Valley. Dude, this is fascinating. Yeah. This is fascinating. Okay, so uh, this is the first part. We're going to take you to the next step. What's the next step? So the next step is the biological treatment process. That's where we're trying to remove nutrients. So we have uh, ammonia. We have nitrate. We're going to use um, bi biology. We're going to use uh, microbiology. We call them the bugs here. And these bugs are going to break down these chemical constituents and allow us to strip those from the, from the waste stream so that it's ready to go through filtration where we remove the final, we actually remove the bugs from the process and then disinfect. You know, you're a water guy, but that was a good television tease. Good job, <laughs> my friend. Good job, my friend. All right, that's coming up. We're going to take you to the next process. I'm yeah. telling you, a modern marvel right here in Modesto. Back to you. Uh, I'm glad that that is your next topic code because jo uh, John emailed and said, can you ask how they remove the toxins, bleach, prescription drugs, and anything else that might go into the toilet? before it gets to where it's going. So I have a feeling we you're gonna will. answer that. We will answer that question. Okay. okay. Thank good. you, Code. Thank you, Code. That's right. And once again, we're doing this, Ben, because we had some viewers. We had a photog yesterday make fun of me at the station. He's like, water treatment plant. I'm like, yes, this is amazing technology. Okay, so we're in step two. What, yes. what is this going on here? Yeah, so this is the biological treatment process. Uh, what we're doing here is we're taking the wastewater, we're infusing it with oxygen, um, recycling it enough so that it gets enough passes through the oxygenation system so that we can provide um, a source of oxygen for the microbes and the bacteria to respirate and um, use that to consume the waste that's in the water. Okay. Effectively, what we're trying to eliminate here is ammonia 
and nitrate. Okay. And um, so in the process of removing ammonia and nitrate, when you remove ammonia, you convert that into nitrate. So we take that water, recycle it back to the front so we can starve them of a little bit of oxygen. Um, and then they'll change their respiration process to pull the oxygen out of the nitrate converting that nitrate into nitrogen gas, which diffuses into the atmosphere uh, which, and just becomes part of the atmosphere. Part of the atmosphere, because the so atmosphere is a bunch of nitrogen. Now this water is prepped and ready for filtration. Fascinating! Absolutely. So the bubbling we're seeing right yeah. there, mm -hmm. uh, that is a chemical reaction, there's some it's microbes a, it's and stuff. a mechanical stuff. reaction, oh, so we have blowers that are blowing air through these little diffuser heads. They're rubber plates that blow up and they open little tiny spaces that bubbles come out. And we're just uh, sort of like uh, maybe your fish tank has a small bubbler. Oh, okay. We're oh, okay. doing yeah, effectively yeah. that, which a whole lot of bubbles. Um, and then that oxygen that's in those bubbles, the microbes use to breathe while they eat the waste that's in these tanks. Thank you, microbes. You're doing a lovely job. You're doing a lovely job. So it basically takes like a four, four time lap, basically. Goes yeah. Through. So this particular plant will recycle these microbes around roughly four times or so uh, with the water, so that they get enough passes through the deoxygenation and the reoxygenation. Make sure we get all those ammonia and nitrate levels down before they pass through the filters and onto the disinfection process. Because if you if you let that stuff naturally just go back into the the waterways and stuff like that then you're gonna get algae blooms and all sorts of crazy stuff that's right so ammonia is toxic to aquatic life fish and mm -hmm. frogs and those types of things they can't survive in high ammonia concentrations, so we remove the ammonia the byproduct of nitrate will cause algal blooms and all those types of things that change the ecology of the area that we're putting or the ecosystem that we're putting the water into so we want to remove those as well we want to have as minimal of an impact on the environment the receiving water that we're putting this water into so that every Thing just kind of meshes really nice and, and moves on for, for irrigation. Okay, uh, next stop in our tour is where? We're going to go to the membrane filtration area and then we'll look at disinfection at the end. Okay, that's it. Good TV tease. I'm telling you, water guy, you're good at the TV stuff. <laughs> All right, back to you guys in the studio. Cody, I'm fairly certain in the nearly 30 year history of this show mm -hmm. that this is the first time the word tertiaries appeared on any of our graphics. On a graphic, yeah, for sure. Like the great poet JLo once said, Let's get loud. It's about to get loud down here. Okay, so we're going to take you down to the next part of the process. Hold on. Going down the stairs. Here we come. Here we come. Okay, so the bubblies, yeah. where we, we had the mechanical process, yep. uh -huh. where it's going through. Yep. Now it's coming down here, yep. and it's going over here. That's yep. the next step. What's the next step? Yeah, so the next step, we're heading into the membrane filtration process. So we've treated the water biologically for nutrients. Now we need to filter out all of those microbes and, and, and uh, uh, bacteria that we've grown. We need to filter those out, get rid of all the solids, so we're prepped and ready for the UV system. And so what happens here is we have uh, tanks filled with these fibers, and they're hollow fibers, um, and we hook the suction side of a pump up to a header so that it pulls vacuum inside of this fi fiber. And I, I mentioned earlier, it's similar to um, sucking on a straw with your finger on the end of it, and the straw will collapse. Yeah. Same concept is happening here, except what happens is there's small microscopic holes on the outside of this fiber. And so as you pull suction inside the fiber, just like you would a straw, we're sucking the water through the wall of this fiber, rejecting all of the uh, bacteria, other solids that are larger, and we're only allowing water and viruses to pass through and move on to the disinfection process. Wow. Uh, here's something that what will blow your heck? mind. These little fibers, they last 10 years. Yeah. And it, I mean, it is getting shaken the heck out of, yeah. and then all this water is going through it 10 years. That's right, yeah. So every 12 minutes, they go under vacuum, extreme pressure, and then they relax for a minute. But we try to take really good care of them. So once a week, we do a chlorine wash on the inside of the fibers. And then every uh, three months or so, we'll do a chlorine soak on the outside to clean off any extra debris or buildup. And then every six months, we'll actually soak them in acid to break down oh, wow. any of the mineral deposits that might be on the outside of them. So we keep them nice and clean so that they don't have to work harder to produce the same amount of water. 
Dude, this is fascinating. Is okay, so like you said, the viruses are still in there. Right. We just don't want them to breed, so we have to go to the next step, which is UV. That's right. So the next step would be UV, where we try to disinfect, or effectively what we're doing is we're sterilizing the viruses mm. so that they're unable to reproduce inside your body should you consume them. Okay, that's next, 10 o'clock hour. You'll see that process, and then it goes to the fields, and they grow your meters. Wow, that's how it works. This is, Back to you. is crazy. Mesmerizing. Okay. I told you it's interesting. <laughs> you, you delivered, Code. When you, you started this off, I was like, all right, we'll see how this goes. And you have delivered. We thought we were just going to watch you flush the toilet for four hours. But this is working out. Thanks, Code.